What is up, bros and lads? That's probably not how you talk to women, but... Actually, those new intros are really good. I like that. Yeah, so if you can't tell, this is them's fighting herds analysis. Already, the neutral game is very good. And it converts off the shatter... Was that a was that a a mix up with velvet? Oh no. If velvet has mix ups, I'm I'm done. I'm done. I'm out of here. That was a good that was a good overhead. Cuz like here's the thing, like velvet has an overhead, but she doesn't really have like any low normals. Like she has low shatter that ice that you see that comes on the ground, that's a low. So she doesn't really, and she has a sweep, I believe, but she doesn't really have like a, like a low game, really, to speak of. Her, obviously, her main thing is her neutral and zoning. Oleander, though, she has it all and more. She's kind of insane. I think they nerfed her, but she was, she was definitely insane. That is plus on block. Her wake up shatter is plus. That is the one good thing about her for sure. Like Velvet's a great character. Don't let me tell you otherwise. I'm just saying she has some flaws. Everyone should have flaws. Only Andrew doesn't have flaws. That was a poor choice to do a cross canner there just because you're not really getting anything off of it. Now you're in the corner against Velvet, which, I mean, you still got to deal with pressure. She doesn't have, like, mix-ups, but she still has pressure. Almost got that, but it didn't even matter. The chip definitely got it. I feel like this Velvet is in Velvet, or this matchup is in Velvet's favor. Definitely. Until Oleander gets him, like, close, but I could be wrong. That was a good mix-up. I've never seen that before. Going for the reset or just dropping the combo? I can't actually tell. Very good conversion off that shatter. So that is the one thing you can do to get a low combo with Velvet is uh, do shatter into super. It's not much, but it's something. I mean, she can get full combos from her overhead, but she can't get full combos from her low. That's her main problem, in my opinion. But you don't need that with a zoning character. Go ahead and go to the next match. I actually really like the way that um, Velvet slides whenever she dashes around, unlike other characters. Just because she's got the ice theme. Like, I feel like other characters slide a little bit, but she slides a lot. Yeah, and see, this is what I'm talking about. That's not necessarily a mix-up, but that is pressure with Velvet. That was a pretty good idea. But yeah, push block. Unblockable Shatter C. Wow, we both said it. <laughs> yeah, the joke is that... Like, look at this, though. This is insane. 
You're gonna throw out an overhead from this range. That's full. That's half screen. That is actually like. See, the thing is, like, Velvet's overhead is really good, and in a zoning connotation, it's really good. But like, as a mix-up, it's not necessarily amazing because she doesn't really have a low up close. If you wanted to drop that, that would have definitely finished. Ooh, that's a very clever combo. I've never seen that either. Because the uh, chapter traps do steal meter, as I'm sure you just heard. And by the way, if you're wondering what this means, I'm going to show you real quick. See how she kind of like flashed white? I don't think it'll do it again, but yeah, she flashed white. Oh, right there. Gotcha. Yep. That means that you used insta block, which you can uh, instantly block moves. It's kind of like a shittier version of parry, basically. Yeah, you block on like the exact like 10 frame window that uh, an attack gets you and it just reduces your block stun by like two frames I think and it's pretty it's pretty good but not amazing yeah shatter C is very hard to re uh, react to it's just it's very sneaky overhead again oh but he actually blocks it I wouldn't have blocked it And if anyone, if you know this game, you know that Fred is a problem. It's only a matter of time before you get opened up. And when you do, you get you just take so much damage. And meter steal, like it steals meter. So that's like one of Ollie Andrews' big things is that like she doesn't really like fuck meter. She just, she has that shit. That's going to kill. That's definitely going to kill. Alright, we got time for one more. What's the matchup? Tianmo versus Velvet. I feel like this is a bad matchup for Velvet, but I don't know. I don't know anything. I just... I know what these two characters do. And I know that it's a bad matchup for Velvet if that happens. Because uh, obviously Velvet has the plus two on block reversal and it's invincible. It's a great DP. But Tianwu has a lot of like aerial. Um, like she, in fact that's her main game is aerial. Yeah so like this is what I'm talking about right here. Check this out. You'll notice that she wakes up. But that hitbox ain't hidden over here. Where Tina's doing some fucking mix ups and shit. It did hit her that time, but I'm pretty sure that if you space that right, you can definitely bait out her uh, reversal and punish. So really, that seems like it's going to be like a bad matchup for Velvet. It just gets clipped low. Getting put in the corner by Tina is not where you want to be. She has insane unblockable resets if you decide to tech in the air in, uh, versus... Uh, Tina, you know, if you try if you try to attack against Tina in the corner, you're getting hit by an unblockable full combo reset into an unblockable. And then it'll go into another unblockable if you try to attack again. It's insane. That was a good confirm. I don't know what Velvet can do at that range, but I know that she has like she used to have like 5k combos. But she gets like at least 1.5k, 2k. Depending on the situation, of course. Yep, here's what I'm talking about. So. Look at, well. Look at her juggle to K-bar. All the way full. 
and obviously she's flashing pink so that means that she is in maximum juggle decay right now but whenever you activate level two and do that setup you still have the juggle decay but since she has this um like status effect on her now if you tech at any point doesn't matter what direction you tech Tianwo can on reaction do her anti-air command grab and it will un it was it'll be a meaty unblockable launcher you get a full combo off of it nothing you could do so instead you see people not tech and look how much damage you get because remember if you tech you're you're just gonna die and eat that on top of what you already ate so that's 60 percent can we just talk about that for a second that is insane basically if you tech in the air against Tina when she activates level 2 you just lost because you're gonna get 60 percent again that was, that was an insane performance from the Tianwu player there actually I don't even know what to say about that that was insane well if you enjoyed this as much as I did excuse me as much as I did then uh, why don't you consider dropping a like or something I'll see you guys next time bye, -bye.